Hi everybody, it's been a while since I did a video because uh, it's had me uh, just hiding out, if you want to call it hiding out. Uh, but I have a couple things to show you. I've been uh, pretty busy the last couple weeks. I decided to uh, jump back in and have, have some fun building some stuff. So uh, let me show you what I got going on. Okay, if you remember from last time, I talked about a uh, four-wheel drive Tesla-powered uh, rally car. So I just thought I'd show you my setup. I just finished this the other day. This is the Tesla motor, the large drive motor, split in half. This is the Dodge 307 um, differential that uh, is welded, so it's a locker, or locked up right now, it's welded diff. And what, what this is, is that it's going to be my transfer case for the four-wheel drive. So I'm using a 307 Dodge differential as the transfer case. Then I'm going to run a 307 in the front and 307 in the back out of a Dodge Pursuit charger. And this is what I did at the front of it and all the, all the electrics to plug in right there. This is the temperature sensor lead that will go to here. This temperature sensor lead over here. When I don't have any mounts on this yet, but I do have the water, you know, inlet here and the and the outlets here uh, for it. And as you probably maybe didn't see up here, I have the outlet here and the other smaller outlet there. That when Teslas get their their water, it goes in here. And it splits, goes through the rotor, and then part of it comes out here and would normally go down through the side of the gearbox and cool it. So what I did was I have a fitting here that so that water will come out and it'll end up going down here. And again, when the water goes in here for the uh, motor itself, then it'll come out here over here and come around and go in here wherever this gets mounted you know in the car and then after it goes through there it'll come out and come out down here and the other one like I said will come out here so that's that set up so no more excuses for small four-wheel drive cars this is my lifting mounts up here there and there so that's that then over here on the table is my uh, front differential uh, from the Dodge Pursuit and what what it'll have is this is an in and out or an on and off or electric solenoid which makes it lock up or not not lock up but makes it engage and not engage these are not a uh, locking differential I've tried to find a locking differential uh, for this and no good at this point and I don't know if welding it up would be the way to go on this to make it be a full locker but I don't know because at, at the moment with what's going on in the world and stuff, I really don't have a good answer for uh, what vehicle I should put it in as far as that goes I was really thinking of a Ford Focus um, for, for a rally car and then I'm thinking okay what kind of rallies are we going to be doing these days or whatever and I really you know after you know I'm not a somebody who's got unlimited money so it's so it's really hard to take and uh, say let me build a rally car and go out and destroy my rally car because everybody it seems like it's a demolition derby while you're rallying but if there's a rally sport or something that is against a clock which uh, I'm sure it's out there I haven't seen it though then that would be fun and that way if you, you make a mistake and wreck your car well it's your fault but you know, it just, it always costs. You know, if you wreck your car, whether it's a race car or a regular car, you still got to fix it. So anyway, so that's what's going on right now. That's what I got. If anybody's got suggestions as far as what, you know, like to see this set up in, let me know. I even looked at the key vans from Japan uh, to put this in, but I'm in California and I talked to the DMV and asked them if I could do it. And, with the electric motor and have it all be emission stuff and they're just giving me the run around so I'm not even going to deal with them. So anyway, that's today's video. The rear end for the uh, Dodge Charger Pursuit is outside 
and uh, I haven't brought it in yet to play with it because I don't have anything to put it in yet. So here we go. That's it. I hope you're having a great one. I hope you're staying safe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.